here is the elevator at the Great Wolf Lodge in Colorado Springs. These are very busy. Uh, let all the people out very slowly. All right. Ten floors here. Which floor? Five, please. Five? Oh. There's ten floors, by the way, kids. Ten floor ten. HT. What the heck? Apparently these are pretty slow. I don't assume that's slow. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Okay, I was told these would be a lot busier. So, yeah, this isn't all that bad, actually. I mean, we're already on the car on our own. Schindler 400A. Tenth floor. Take a look here. Oh, and look at this arrow. Hold the door for a second. Had an up arrow on here. There's the fixtures. The wide panel HT is very rare, actually. So here's a view outside. So yeah, I've heard a lot about those elevators being the most inconvenient and poorly designed set of elevators. But it didn't seem that bad, honestly, and they were actually pretty fast. It's a pretty good view here, too. Over there is a giant water slide of sorts. I can't really tell what that circular thing is. It might be uh, pretty uh, scary. <laughs> At least for me to ride it. The car, where's the car? It's somewhere around here. Right down there. The black car right there. There's, yeah, the one with the dirt on it. <laughs> That's my car. Let's take a look at the hotel hallways in here quick and see. See what this place looks like. Well, that's weird. Oh, oh, you called an elevator down? Yeah, so this is the hallways here. Very wide, very fancy hallways. Oh, other people down there. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, not too much else up here. Uh, over here is the directory of the floors that have things on them. So one of the reasons why the elevators are so inconvenient, according to many people, is because of this thing uh, called the Magic Quest, uh, which takes place on multiple floors, and everything is consecutive on different floors. So it's not like, you know, you're going to go to get all the whatever they do on three. It goes from three to five to four to three to five to four, uh, just random, and it's pretty inconvenient. Anyways, let's uh, head down to the level C. I think we'll get the far one here. Yeah. Yep. 400 AHT. Let's uh, hold the door and get a cab view. It's a little bit windy. Okay, very windy. Pretty nice cabs, although well, you can tell they're heavily used. So let's head down to little C. We're gonna stop on probably five, four, and three. Hi there. Which floor? Three. Three. Lobby? Yes, please. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is why they say the elevators are inconvenient, is because of the, uh, of what goes on at 3, 4, and 5. That's true. Is Yeah. Hotel check-in time or something like that. All right. We got a down arrow. Maybe. <laughs> yep, we might. Door closed works somewhat. Seems to work after being pressed the first time. 
We should be able to get off on C and at least look at the floor a little bit. They're holding private event down here, but there's nothing saying you can't look around, so no signs. I'm going to take that as a, as a clue that I'm good. So this area is pretty nice down here, actually. Yeah, there's quite a lot around here. It's bigger than um, I expected for a, a hotel that was originally designed to be entirely a conference center um, and turned into a water park and yet still have a conference center. Quite interesting. Anyways, I should probably just end the video at the lobby and not try to ride up again. Yeah, because that'll take some time to do. So yeah, this isn't actually as bad as they said it would be. I read at least like 50 online reviews that said these are the most inconvenient elevators in existence and that they're very slow, but honestly, it doesn't seem to be that bad. Except for on this floor. Never mind. Yeah, so we're just gonna go up to the lobby quick. Um, yeah, hit the lobby button there. Door close seems to work on these, which is very surprising for a Schindler HT. Yep. So yeah, this is pretty busy. So that's it.